Morning, we travel to Red Wing, Minnesota, the home of the world's largest boot at Red Wing Shoes. We're talking big, a size 638 and a half, and it stands over 20 feet tall. I just always thought that was Paul Bunyan's missing boot. <laughs> Maybe it is, and that photo was taken at the company's flagship store shortly before they added something new behind that boot. Red Wing Shoe Company is shining a focus on workers who strap on their boots every day. The worn in shoes on their newly installed Wall of Honor represent men and women from 29 different states and 14 different industries. It's very much meant to be an honor. More than 30 pairs of boots hang on the Wall of Honor in the Red Wing Museum in Red Wing, Minnesota. Boots worn for years by real people, some still living, others who have passed on. The types of stories that are represented on the wall are multi-generational. So much of the people um, that we're paying homage to here are people who just quietly go about their work day to day and actually get no credit in many regards for what they do. But when you walk into a room and the, the water works, the electricity works, the things work around you, it's because of their contributions. Men and women who have devoted decades of their lives to the trades. Red Wing Shoes Chief Marketing Officer Dave Schneider says the laces hung are meant to symbolize a snapshot of stories that they hear every day from people out on the job. Kenneth Wendell is a third generation lineman of Indiana and his son and his father both are linemen and they have done nothing but wear Red Wing Shoes over the course of the past uh, some 30 plus years. Stories like the late St. Paul native Tom McCarthy who worked 45 years in the construction industry, a third generation pipe fitter and a father of nine. His daughter Tara says he never took his boots off. They literally were a part of him, and and they he would wear them in to the point that he you know they fit they formed his foot. <laughs> and sure. yeah. McCarthy says the boots bring back a flood of memories about her dad. He would go run Como Lake, and we would always say, Dad, do you want to put some sneakers on or some you know running shoes? And he said, No, they fit like a glove. His story rests here at the museum, but his leather is buried in a time capsule underneath center ice at the XL Energy Center. So it's a wonderful remembrance to Tom, and to be honest with you, it's part of the inspiration for what's behind us. Schneider says the Wall of Honor will continually change and grow in order to ensure other stories like. Tom McCarthy's can be shared and jobs in the trade industry are encouraged. We view that our brand can help be an enabler to the trades and getting people, getting the next generation tradespeople in. This is about people who had done the work before, but we're also keenly interested in how do we get that next generation worker into it. This stuff is real, it's genuine, it's authentic, and it's who we are. Now, last year, Red Wing Shoe Company started what they call the crew, and the crew is a group of skilled laborers. They visited Red Wing High School to educate students on the trades, and students learn the difference between a lineman and a construction technician or how they can become an apprentice. The company's chief marketing officer says they hope to expand this program outside of their hometown to encourage others to see the positive benefits of this type of career path. Because I think for a long time, we've been hearing a lot of people say college is for you, college is for you, but college isn't necessarily for everyone. And a lot of people don't know about these other jobs that are available for them. Especially where you can make a good living, mm -hmm. not be $50,000 in debt. Exactly. And the skills, I mean, they're so needed. I mean, the quality work that they do. Really cool to learn more about it. And I am impressed that he went running in those boots. <laughs> <laughs> I know. You wow. know, I have several pair of Red Wing boots and you and that see me running. <laughs> oh, We're pretty happy. Yeah. Like, it's a workout yeah. just to probably walk. That's very cool. Thanks, Allie. <laughs>